All right, why is there so much panic in the cryptocurrency market? That is what we'll be going over in this video today. And along with, I'll be dropping two of the gems that I have my eye out and the price targets where I'm gonna be looking at adding them and stacking them in my portfolio and overall strategy. So let's go ahead and jump over to the charts and take a look at what is going on in Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. It never fails once we get towards the bottom of the consolidation phase that everything starts to go into panic mode. And if we take a look at Solana and that, that's where all the attention is right now, we can see we're at 162 and we have been steady selling off which is not the best, but there's no reason to panic. We can see that we're still in this consolidation phase right around 190 and 159. Now, if we start breaking below here, we're gonna enter, that's when panic's gonna start setting in and we could bounce and that's what I'm hoping for at this moment is that we bounce, trail out and start consolidating a little bit more so it'll look something like this, it'd be great. And then we just go boom, break up to the upside. But that, again, that may not happen at the moment. We could, again, another great possibility would be to sure up this bottom and even just consolidate right around here. That would be even a good bullish sentiment to really sure up these one six. If we go and look over at Bitcoin, point you can see the reds all through the market and that's due to just the amount of volatility that's coming in but even with bitcoin we have the consolidation rate this one is quite large and we let's turn it up to right here because this is this is really where we've tested quite a bit you can see we've touched this area one two three four five five times that's a pretty strong support level right at 156. Panic sets in and people start getting horribly scared when we drop below 60. I don't know what it is about that mentality at the 60K price point, but it's all relative. There's not any big bear market bust if we drop down below 60 bag now do what you want but right in this area anywhere from 60 to 54 once we get down here this is going to be where i'm looking to purchase altcoins such as hedera hbart man I, i'm struggling with that project it's such a mental game for me when it comes to this project it was one of my first altcoins i bought but it ranges between six and eleven cents which is just terrible terrible but they have all the partnerships which is just amazing supposedly but i need more out of hedera They've been around for a long, long time. Step it up, Hedera. HBAR, give me a 25 cent price target. That's what I want to see. Again, ICP fam, I appreciate y'all out there. ICP, I'd start stacking up around here as well. I would love to see ICP again at $25 would be ecstatic for me but that's where the price targets are that i'm going to be looking at once we drop down below here right now we're at 63k but i really need to push down so i can start stacking up my altcoins or can we get a weekly close over 70k that's what i'd love to see close on the weekly let's go ahead and see when was the last time we closed a weekly candle over 70k we got really close right here this was at i think we closed at 68 you know we pushed up to 69 couldn't break it so a weekly we haven't closed a weekly candle over 70 since March 25th that's three months ago that we closed candle at 71.3 and we've retested it quite a bit but we have not closed and look at that disastrous red candle yeah but uh, this is the market we're in again consolidation this is not panic you're going to start seeing a lot of bullish sentiment if we move this bracket, this is when people start getting really bullish again. Once we start getting into the 67s, if we can close above up here. You're going to start seeing a lot of bullish sentiment again in the market. And that's what we would love to see. But it may just be too soon. Understand the cryptocurrency market is like a, a bow. The longer we consolidate, further we'll go. And this is just giving the retail people opportunities to get in to the market at a pretty good price point. Are you going to really complain if you even get into cryptocurrency at 70,000 and Bitcoin sitting at 200K? Are you going to be sitting there in your woes or are you going to be ecstatic? 
Again, not financial advice, but these are the mind games and the mental gymnastics that we have to go through in the cryptocurrency market of fear, the uncertainty, uncertainty of sitting on the sidelines. But you have to make the decision if you're going to be a Bitcoin maxi and just play that game or are you going to jumble around in all the all. That's up to you. But this video really was just to kind of give you a good feel of where crypto sentiment is right now, how to read the market. Why does everyone start getting super bearish once we drop below 65k and that's gonna be because of the people that are just day trading and are super scared but it's okay take a breath step away from the chart spend some time with your loved ones and relax it'll be okay if you received any value whatsoever from this content go ahead and make sure to like subscribe and turn on those notifications it definitely helps motivate me and gets me amped up to come out here and keep pushing out this content and if you're brand new to cryptocurrency go ahead and make sure to check out this video right here here. It'll show you where and how to get started.